Hello! I'm on me! Today I'm drawing VTubers again. This time just focusing on one at a time. So I can, I can balance talking and, and drawing a bit more. And today, using program PureF. It's just a window to hold your references, basically. And you can see I have like the nine. Now you can kind of see. I have the nine VTubers are going to draw for like this bundle. Excuse me. Double click to focus on something. You can also have it so it's always on top or on bottom. And you can, you know, press play, play with the transparency. So if you had it always on top and you had the transparency now, you could just draw underneath it. And you can also set it to ignore your mouse clicks. clicks. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Ignore your mouse clicks. So that you can like easily draw from. Yeah, I found that the other day. Well, I didn't find it, I found it, but I wanted to share it because it's very helpful. And yeah, I made a little bit of progress behind the scenes, or I guess a lot of progress behind the scenes, trying to figure out the pose, which I think I pretty much got down, just have to do like cleaner lines and one thing that I didn't notice about this design that I was really impressed with when I when I started like working on it is that it has the CRT colors as uh, cyan uh, magenta yellow I think I think that's the three of them yeah there might be also a green in there I'm not entirely sure but I know cyan and magenta are like the TV screen colors opposed to like primary colors so yeah i thought that was actually a really nice touch and i think those are like the pure like hex like if i looked up the hex codes of those colors those are like the pure or at least pretty close to the pure um cm cymk <laughs> you know those colors very close to the official color uh yeah, I still have not mastered talking and drawing at the same time. Yeah, there we go. But at least I feel a little bit more comfortable than I did last time. Just slightly. I think maybe prepping for it in advance was a really good idea. Also, I can't guarantee, but the next, next week, this video might be a little different, might not be working on this, be working on something else. Because uh, I am working on something else art-wise, but I don't want to uh, spoil it. I also don't want to make any promises in case I, I don't get to it. Right. That. Oh, too much. Mm -hmm. Just going to go over that line. So yeah, um, I think, I think this patch is going a little bit smoother. Yeah, I, I would say smoother than the last one. Mainly because I realized I was leaning in way too much. <laughs> Mainly because, um, I guess I'm just more comfortable now. I think last time it took me like a really long time. This will probably also take me a while. Not as long. I was trying to figure out like how I wanted to do everything. And I wanted things to be consistent. I went back and forth on a lot of things, especially like how to color it. So I was going to do it like flat cell shaded. And then I was like, mm, it's not really, it's, I don't know, I feel like that's not really my style. I want a more like painterly, painterly watercolory kind of look, which I think was really successful. Mm. And what else? Oh, uh, I guess I just treat this like a stream, which should be easier to do. If you are watching this, 
let me know like in the comments what do you you've been thinking of having a video every day maybe you no know, have you have you been watching them or have you just been tuning into the ones that you're interested in have i been proven that's would be great to hear feedback on uh i know my voice as the, as the days go by have has been getting really scratchy I don't talk that, that often just in real life I just don't talk that often maybe like an hour a day is as much as I talk so to like force myself to talk for like specific numbers of time and not and I mean like when I say I talk like an hour a day I mean like hour total like spread out through the day so to talk in very like concentrated like i'm already out of breath concentrated uh moments like this is is that actually like, really straining <laughs> my throat i'm okay uh so what was i going with that um yeah i just noticed that you, you might have noticed that as the days goes on my voice is kind of a little warbly, a little, little scratchier every episode. Uh, I'm taking breaks, so don't worry about that. It's more just like, what is it, doms, like delayed onset muscle soreness. Like when you start working out, everything hurts. But you kind of need to go through that. It, oh god, there I go. <laughs> There's my voice again. Uh, you kind of need to go through that to get stronger. That's what it kind of feels like to me. I can't. Eh, I'll get back to that later. But yeah, I think. I think I've been doing this for six months now. And that's really weird to think about. Because like. I think in my head I wanted to be like. Oh, it's six months. I gotta do something big and celebrate with like a bunch of bunch of people. But well, what I'm not just not that big enough to have like a. I feel like planning a huge event would be worth it. Not to be like, oh, it's not worth it because I'm small, but like, like anniversary events are more fun with more people. So I'd I'd want to wait until I have like a like a milestone. Celebrate. It's just weird that like six months have gone by and like there definitely has been stuff I've struggled with, like able to keep a semi regular video schedule for like a little bit and then and then it to be honest, I got really like self conscious, so I stopped I would stop making videos for a little bit. I think that maybe but I think in the end I'm just gonna keep doing this because I do enjoy it as much as as stressful as it is and, and <laughs> as much as my body rejects <laughs> talking this much uh what was I saying in about it's been six months and that makes sense what the, what's going on there not really but i can get back to that so uh so six months it doesn't it sounds like such a long time, but it's not. And I keep leaning too forward. So if I'm like, meh, it's because I keep leaning in too far. But yeah, it's, it's really hard to judge how much time that actually is because you don't always feel it passing you know everyone jokes that like 
oh, you know, wake up, all of a sudden, like, half the year is gone, or half the week's gone, or whatever. And I think, honestly, I prefer it this way over what, you know, life in the grave or after life in the graveyard used to be, where it days would just drag on. <laughs> and at one, I felt like there was, like, no end. And it felt like, you know, I was just waiting for things to happen. Like, waiting for things to happen to me, which I think is an important distinction. Whereas, gotta make sure I stay back. Okay. I should be coming a VTuber. I feel like I'm finally making things happen. Or maybe that's a weird thing to say. Just like, what's the, um, Kind of relax like that. Maybe not like that. Okay. I guess you wouldn't really see the thumb. I probably should ask. Uh, do you mind? Do you guys mind if I draw in videos some more like weird personal vlogs? <laughs> Just because. I don't have a chat, so I don't have people to like bounce off of. I'm just kind of talking about myself and like, you know, I have a game to observe. Hopefully, you don't mind. Hopefully, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm an interesting person, but like, hopefully, you maybe like listening to me, maybe. I do hope that one day I, I do. I have like an active audience I can talk to, and that isn't to say, oh, people watch this video, no comment, or bad, or something, because I actually really appreciate every time that little view number goes up, because it's like, you know, someone, someone's out there, and someone's like listening, maybe that sounds really sad, but it, it's a nice, it's a nice feeling, so, if you, if you if you are you know the view number two or three or even one and then you watch the video and you think eh that was kind of boring and leave like wow we we connected and not in like a weirdly personal level but in a thing where it's like of all the possibilities in the universe that what could happen and whatever could have happened led you to me or led me to you and maybe that's a really creepy way of looking at it maybe it's not i don't know but i think there's something of value to be found there on the on these on these chant these chant counters. Not go back to that. Well, this was supposed to be the clean. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I was I I can just do whatever. No one's gonna watch this, but like. The nature of YouTube and the internet is, that, of course, people are going to find this video at any point, like a million years, maybe not a million years, maybe like 10 years in the future, someone's going to be watching it. And if they are watching it in 10 years in the future, hello. Uh, how you doing? Mm. Yeah, this was supposed to be the clean line. Mm -hmm. but I'm also really a sappy person so like part of me hopes that like there is someone 
we watch this in like 10 years, 15 years, or maybe even tomorrow, it's like, hey, this person feels like a real person. And I know that kind of sounds ironic considering I'm using a computer generated avatar, but I designed the avatar myself, so I think it is more. Well, that's it. I think he needs to go further down. There we go. I'm drawing hands today, and I kind of keep forgetting is like how the knuckles kind of roll off one another. Like, like the, the hand has kind of really very few straight lines. And like, I mean, they're, I, they're straight because I like stylize them, but. If you like really look at them, like the hands, the hands have very, very few straight lines. They're actually a lot of complex shapes that are in like a rhythm with each other. There's something going on there that's right. <laughs> I mean, the head looks good. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna to, like go back and try to do the bottom half again. I think I lost somewhere. Uh, what else should I talk about? My, many tangents. Um. Hmm. I feel like I had topics prepared beforehand and then now they're all gone. Okay, let's start talking about, I got very sentimental about like YouTubers and, and my goals in life, well, in my afterlife and all. Like, I want to talk about something else and I can't think. Of... Oh, oh, I know. I can just talk about the games I'm playing. Um, It's, I'm noticing Death Jr. is definitely not like the biggest series, but I think it's the series that everyone's sleeping on, to be honest. It's far the most fun I've had doing this, like VTuber and playing a game. Episode 3 of Death Jr. is just like my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite things I've done. And I think it's like exactly the kind of humor that I normally have. I think I was the most relaxed I've, I've ever been like being recorded and playing a game. But yeah, watch Death Junior, everyone. Don't sleep on that one. That one's a, that one's going to go in the books. In the Omri history books. Sometimes I wonder if like I pick games too early. I wonder if, like, maybe I should have held off on, like, Kirby, The Amazing Mirror a little bit longer. Maybe when I was bigger and, like, I could have, like, more fun with people. Maybe I could play multiplayer or something. I don't know. I think, well, one, I'm not going to, like, undo... The series, if I started it and it's not an indie game, I'm gonna finish it. And like a little bit more around this. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I do remember. Someone was like talking to me about my channel, and they were like, "Oh, well, you don't mostly do gameplay videos." And I was like, "That's technically true," because <laughs> this was like before I did any my art or game updates. But I don't really see myself as like a let's player. Like, I'm not really trying to be that. 
I'm trying to be a YouTuber in the sense that I just do a bunch of stuff behind a, a cute anime face. So it was funny that like, I guess I mostly do gameplay, but like gameplay videos, I mean, but I don't really see myself as a gamer VTuber. That kind of, it really threw me off. <laughs> threw me through a loop for a little bit. So I was like, Real, really? Is that how other people see me? Because that's not really what I was going for. Gaming videos are just easier to make and uh, it's, it's much easier to sort of get comfortable recording when you have a thing to talk about. And games are always a good thing to, well, not always a good thing, but always a pretty easy thing to talk about, at least for me. So that's why I started with gameplay. That's what I'll continue to do. Even though I know, I, I think my art videos do get more immediate attention. And actually, I'm very flattered by that. And in a sense, like, I know the art aspect of my work is probably the most unique because like anyone can play a game and talk over it but for me it's kind of like an outlet to be like here's here's me as like a person or get to know me casually even though i'm kind of going the harder route doing something as, as common as like let's play and I, I could you know just stick to the art and maybe make a bigger impact and or a faster impact that way but I felt like I, I do want to do all these different things like I want to do uh I want to show off the games that I love I want to show off indie games especially and I want to, to to draw for people and it was hard it's hard to like balance that and or at least it's hard to like get all of that make it feel like oh i'm doing everything i'm giving everything equal attention uh but i mean the reality is I couldn't really do make videos as often as I do if they weren't game like game focused videos because drawing takes time and I would get burned out if I was making myself do a video every day of me drawing. Okay, so like I've <laughs> kind of a weird confession i don't like the word content not because of what it stands for because i just don't like the way the letters sound like i just don't like saying it so when i say like oh my stuff or my work i'm i'm saying basically means content but i don't like saying that word because it sounds gross in my mouth <laughs> And because of that, I try to, I, yeah, I try to avoid saying that word, but it's a word that everyone knows and everyone uses. So I guess I inevitably had to use it at one point. Uh... But what I'm I'm trying to get to actually yeah I like that yeah Wait. oh my god okay might make it a little bit bigger what I was trying to get to is, is what do you think my content?
Am I entertaining? Am I getting better, getting worse? Do you think I'm improving? What do you want to see me do more of? Yeah, I can kind of see that. You can kind of see what's going on there, I think. Yeah. I mean, their hand might be a little small. They do have a TV head, so it might be kind of hard to judge. I think I mean, it's a little too big. Look at that, and then. A little bit more dip. Yeah. That was supposed to be the clean layer. Uh Gotta color this too. It might need some more cleaning up. Good. Ah, let me do that. See, I forgot to say, set it to ignore mouse clicks, but you can do that so that it doesn't happen. And these videos feel so aimless. <laughs> Uh, I hope you like them. Um, hmm. I was gonna say something else, and then I forgot what it was. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm sorry that these videos are kind of low energy. I guess it doesn't really seem appropriate for it to be super high energy. So this just drawing video. Uh, hmm. Also, thank you so much for watching me try to struggle with words and find things to say. Thank you for watching me draw. Uh, thank you for sticking to the end of this video because that's impressive. Um, mm, thank you for your support because even just that, the one view on YouTube, it, it feels like you said you're, you're, you're cheering me on. And, you know, I don't have any, like, super grand ambitions. But as someone who just kind of likes making art, likes talking about games, and likes playing games, making games. I really appreciate having my own little space here on the internet. Or at least being able to make my own space. Because God knows I can't really make a community with just, like, 11 subscribers. But, I don't know, I, I, I hope that one day we will get to, like, a milestone where I can put, like, YouTube community posts and talk to everyone directly. One day, I, I want to carve out a nice space for myself and like-minded people. So, yeah, I have 19 more subscribers to get to reach my goal of 30 before the end of May and every little bit helps even if you don't subscribe you just like view my stuff I'm honored to have you and 
I am so grateful for every little thing that you do, even if it's just scrolling past me and just seeing me in a in a brief second. It's it's a nice feeling. And I want to share these feelings with with more people. So I don't know how to end a sentence. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be even better at drawing and talking in the next video. And I hope you give my other stuff a chance.